Okay. So we have been summoned back to the harborage to help the prophet in Lyris find Sai Sahan. And if I remember correctly, we have to help Abner Tharn first before we get Sai. Or Tharn is going to help us and then we have to go get Tharn. I can't fully exactly remember. But let's speak to the prophet and see if I am correct or not. Good, good. You are safe. Good fortune did not abandon us entirely. Is something wrong, prophet? Despite many days of meditating and scrying, Sai Sahan's whereabouts still elude me. The projection that you witnessed in the Foundry of Woe showed him to be in great peril. If we are to find him, I will need your help, Vestige. And what can I do to help? Though Sai remains hidden from my sight, Lyris brings news that an agent of the enemy lurks in Daggerfall. Oh? Fear is on the lips of the people. Darkness walks among them. Even a blind man can sense it. It is the hand of Menemarko. And how can that help us? If it is truly an agent of Menemarko's worm cult, it may provide us with a clue that will hasten our search. Oh. Seek this agent, but tread carefully. The worm cult is a cult of necromancy, and the undead are fearsome opponents. How can I find this agent? Venture to Daggerfall. Speak to old maid Maxell and Husnia the mercenary. It was on their lips that Lyris first heard murmurs of trouble lurking in the shadows. Locate this agent of evil. Return with any personal effects they carry with them. All right then, I'll find something in return. I don't remember having to find an Bring agent. The, book, the travel is well worth the pack space. <coughs> Shame <that's so> <coughs> when I did it for the Dominion, because I've only ever done this. For the Dominion. I have yet to in, in Dominion area. I have yet to do this is my first time doing it in a non Dominion territory. So uh let's let's just go speak to these two people and see what information we can get out of them. Okay, so one of them is over here in this crowd of people. So let's talk to Maxell. You're new to Daggerfall, aren't you? No. I know everyone in town. Well, if you know everyone in town, then have you noticed any other strangers in the city? I don't like to gossip, but there's been an Imperial vagrant nosing around for the past few weeks. Suspicious looking fellow. I actually saw him picking through the trash outside the castle a few weeks ago. Mm. I have no idea where he is now. You know, you're obviously as observant as you are beautiful. Is there anything else you can tell me? I'm gonna flatter her. Oh, you're too kind. You make me blush. <coughs> I did see him a few days later on the south side of town. He was with another so a man. So red Very guard? thin and pale. Almost sickly. Does that help? Oh yeah, that helps immensely. Two people. <laughs> Now I gotta speak to this other person and see if they know who you is being talked about. Serious for this place. Possibly. Alright, are they gonna be over here? Okay, they are over here. Who's this now? I bet you've got a wild tale or two to share. I was hoping you'd have a tale for me about a stranger in town. Present company excluded? Hmm. Well, there was a dodgy looking Imperial oh, hanging out Red in the near Southgate Alley this morning. He was eyeballing everyone who happened by. Seemed like a cut purse looking for an easy mark, if you ask me. An easy mark? You sound like an expert in thieving. Maybe even an accomplice? Now, wait a second. <laughs> Are you with the City Watch? Listen, I'm out of that line of work. Oh. You want to arrest somebody? That Imperial's your man. I saw him slip into a house right by the south gate with another shady looking character. Arrest them. Okay, okay. I'll back off. I'll back off. We'll go we'll go to this house and find him. See you. No. No, it's not the same building. Shame. That would have been hilarious. I'm pretty sure that was the building I got abducted in. Oh! Oh, a secret door. 
Ooh. All right. Oh, wait. I think I remember this quest now. The, the worms retreat screen thing reminded me. That, so yeah, this is where we speak to Abner Tharn about helping him in the next quest. I think it was a cave that I would- well, cave- it, maybe it was a cellar? Yeah, I remember this quest I now. I think you, it's just because I- I'm going to. it's a quick short quest, that's why. I'm just like, oh, I don't remember it. <laughs> but okay, let's uh... Let's go figure this out. Aha! You'll never leave this place alive. Uh, yeah, I will. I think I'll be perfectly fine. See, I'm fine. Yay! I want a free book. Perfect. The Orb of Discourse. This is how we talk to Tharn. Yep. What is the meaning of this interruption? Why have you contacted me? Sup. I know you. This is Abner Tharn. The Master and I are very busy. This had better be important. Wait a moment. I don't know your face. Identify yourself immediately. Who? M me? Yes, your report, you insipid twit. What, did you contact me by accident? Ah. Oh. Forgive me, my lord, but I heard something that might be of interest to you. Well, out with it. I don't have all day. Your disguise is terrible, by the way. You look like a character from a bad adventure novel. Ouch. <laughs> Someone has been asking the locals about a red guard named Sai Sahan. Are they? I didn't think that red guard has been had a single friend left. Not in this world, at any rate. Never fear. Sai Sahan is safely locked away. Even if they were to discover his location, attempting a rescue would be suicidal. Do you know where he is? Of course I do. But I'm not in the habit of revealing vital secrets to insipid lackeys. Now be gone. And if you contact me again without good reason, I shall contact your cell commander and have you properly thrashed for your ineptitude. Thank you, my lord. Okay. So, uh... We gotta get the information from Tharn. <laughs> or, I don't even remember anymore. I thought he was going to recognize me. My brain is all jumbled. Let's just get back to the harborage. All oh, right, Prophet. I got the info. You've returned. What have you found? The cultists use orbs like this one to communicate, and I spoke to Abner Tharn with it. Oh, I brought the orb with me. I forgot about that. Abnathan shows his face again. I get the sense that he might have a larger part to play in the coming events, but for good or ill, I cannot say. Leave the orb with me. I shall be able to use it to locate Sai Sahan. All right, then. Good luck. Hold a moment. Oh. Come here. We need to talk. You want to talk to me, Lyris? Oh, of course. I love you. I heard you and the Prophet talking about Abner Tharn. Why do you dislike Tharn so much? Didn't the Prophet tell you the story of the Five Companions? He showed me a vision about them, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. I don't know where to start. There's so much to tell. Well, then why don't you just go ahead and tell me about Tharn first? Abner Tharn is Grand Chancellor of the Elder Council and Chief Advisor to his daughter, the Empress Regent. He is also Manimarko's toady. Tharn didn't seem too happy to work for the work working for the worm cult. Tharn's first loyalty is to his family and the Empire, and he's a ruthless bastard when it comes to defending them. The worm the cult family obviously doesn't ruthless. share those loyalties. Tharn would never trust them, but he's too much of a coward to betray them. Um, but what if he got something out of it? Maybe. But what could we offer him? He's already got more gold than the gods themselves. All right then, well, what about the other companions? We were chosen by Emperor Varen to join him on a quest to recover a lost artifact called the Amulet of Kings. I knew that. The five included Varen, myself, a red guard named Sai Sahan, Abner Tharn, and the traitor Menemarko. Can you tell me more about Menemarko? 
You only know him as the man who killed you and stole your soul. Yeah. But back then, he was Emperor Varen's most trusted advisor. It was Menomarco who convinced Varen to search for the Amulet of Kings. Then why would Varen need the amulet? Varen wasn't a true dragonborn emperor. He didn't share Alessia's bloodline. Menomarco said the amulet could change all that. He said he could use it to perform a ritual that would turn Varen into a true dragonborn. What are the dragon fires? Well, the legend says that the dragon fires were created from the blood of Akatosh and given to Saint Alessia. When a new emperor is crowned, they're supposed to relight them to prove that they're a true heir of Alessia, one of the dragonborn. Did you ever find the Amulet of Kings? Well, obviously. It took us more than two years, but we finally recovered the amulet and returned to Cyrodiil to perform the ritual. But where was the amulet? Menomarco set us up. The ritual caused a violent explosion of magical energy. We lost Varen. Saisahan and I were declared outlaws. But what then? Manamarco convinced the Elder Council to recognize Abner Tharn's daughter Clivia as Empress Regent. But Manamarco was the true power behind the throne. Saisahan and I went into hiding. There was a bounty on our heads. Oh, I th yeah. It must. Well, it's probably still on your heads. I didn't realize there were bounties on their head. I don't. I don't think I ever asked Lyris about her opinion. If I did, it would have been my very first time playing this and that was like back in 2018 yeah yeah so that was a while ago um but I've heard enough for now thank you for giving me your side on it I know it's a lot to take in we'll talk more later in the meantime I'll keep an eye on the prophet hopefully that orb will help him find out where Sai Sahan is being held once we know that, we can plan our next move. All right. Whee! Chasing shadows. Okay, so that was short, simple quest. Um, and now that I've caught up on it and I've done it, like, I'm done with both of the, of the Cold Harbor quests in the Stormhaven, that I want to do while we're in Stormhaven. So what I'm going to do now... I should probably explain how it's going to work with these, because I did explain we're doing two every zone. But what I'm going to do with doing two every zone is at the start of whichever zone we go to next, which I think is going to be the Alakir. It's either Alakir or Rivenspire that I go to next, but at, when I go to the- when I go there... <sighs> the next zone that I go to, after I do- I, words, sorry. The next zone that I go to after Stormhaven, I will do the next Cold Harbor quest. And then at the and then at the halfway point, whenever we reach like the central city of it, or you know, just a halfway point in the story, we'll do the next Cold Harbor quest. Along with doing the other two guild quests. When we Yeah. <laughs> When we get to the point in the areas that we are able to start the guild quests is what I'm going to do. My brain's not working because I haven't done anything in like these areas before. I've gone and explored in these areas, but I've never done any main story quests. I don't know what towns I'm going to be like picking up the guild quests in or and going to, but when I get the opportunity to pick up and do a guild quest halfway through or whatever through the next zone story I will do that but I'll explain that more we'll see that when it when it happens but enough of confuse confusion and rambling um so now that we've done this quest Monday and or Friday um most likely both I'm going to be doing the... I'm going to do the Fighter's Guild quest first. Um, it Depending on how quickly I do the Fighter's Guild quest, I might do the Mage's Guild alongside of it. But I think I had said before that they're most likely going to be separate, separate videos. So, just next week in general is going to be Mage's Guild and Fighter's Guild week. And then after that, I think I'm going to go back to doing once a week. 
videos for Adventures on Tamriel. Um, I know I only I just started doing it twice a week, but my classes are starting back. I'm going back to college classes starting back on Monday, the 15th. So I'm not going in person, but it's going to be a big course load. But I like doing these videos and I want to keep doing them. So just doing them once a week and doing a different video occasionally is going to be fun. Because I do have another playthrough that I've been saying that I have another video game on playthrough and I've actually started recording it. It'll probably come out either Wednesday or the 22nd, which is the Monday after next. Or whichever number is the Monday after next will be the video. I'm not going to tell you what game, but it is one of my other, it was one of my top favorite games. And I want to play through it again, and I want to experience it with you guys. So, get ready for that, because I think I might actually post it Wednesday now that I'm saying that I'm ready for it and excited for it. Um, but, again... No more rambling. I'm, I'm going to start rambling on again about the game. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.